Hello fellow travelers. Today I'm going to try out this Apple AirTag because I'm going to Bali in a, one day. And in Europe there is a couple of uh, challenges with getting your baggage through to the final destination. So it's easy to track your baggage with this. So I'm going to show you how to set it up. This AirTag is really easy to set up. You just open the case. You can do it here. Uh, open, open, open. Let's see. Then you have the AirTag here with a lot of uh, manuals. And if you open this one, here is the AirTag. So I'm gonna pop it out there. It's very small and easy to use. I'm gonna put it in my luggage later. So let's see, let's set it up. So first we're gonna peel this thing off. And once I peel everything around it, you have to pull really hard out to activate it. So I'm gonna activate it. Now it started to sound. And on my iPad, I'm gonna show you my iPad, it already detected the, um, the air tag. So I'm gonna set it up now. Let's see, sorry. There, I put the air tag down here. I'm gonna select connect. Then I have to set a type of what kind of uh, air tag this is and i'm going to use it for baggage so i'm going to select baggage there and then we configure let's see that was kind of easy and now we're done and now we can see this uh, air tag in the where is application so now we can see it's in uh, norway zoom out it's in oslo in norway there, and I'm gonna put it in my luggage uh, to start tracking it. Okay, now I've set everything up and I have the air tag here. Now I'm gonna put it in my uh, my luggage. Just gonna find a suitable space. Just wait, let's see. Here is my baggage for uh, my Bali trip. Too much shit, but uh, I think I need it. I'm gonna put it here. And we're gonna track the suitcase on every flight. Two weeks later. Good morning from Radisson Blue Ulvato in Bali. Uh, today I'm uh, going home. We're going uh, from uh, Denpasar to Singapore, and then from Singapore to Istanbul, and Istanbul to Amsterdam, and then Amsterdam Oslo. I think Amsterdam is going to be the problem, but we will see when we get to Amsterdam. Hopefully we'll end up in Oslo. A few moments later. Okay, just landed in Oslo and, well, my bag is in Schiphol. So, and it's updated 12 minutes ago, so it's kind of accurate. So, we are in the baggage claim for SES to see if we can track the bag and get it through us. So, luckily the AirTag uh, was useful for this trip and, um, yeah. I will give an update when I have my bag back. It's been 11 days now since my bag was gone missing at uh, Amsterdam Schiphol. I'm um, just gonna check where it is now. I've called SES several times. They don't know uh, where it is. And we got the number to the baggage handler in Amsterdam, but uh, they don't answer the phone. So uh, hopefully it's still in Amsterdam or best of all it's uh, you know, on a plane to Norway but uh, we will see now so yeah let's see here so it's still at the same spot as always uh, it's um, at terminal B in uh, Schiphol uh, which is a good uh, sign because terminal B is the gate that uh, that SAS uses uh, regularly. It's 17 days since my bag went missing. Uh, I still know that it's in Schiphol. I haven't moved uh, since. Still located in uh, Terminal B. Well, still no uh, sign of my bag. And now I'm calling SAS customer service, ground uh, handling. We'll see what they, uh, they find. Hopefully they can get it on a plane as soon as possible. Okay, today it's the day 23 of my bag missing. Uh, 
just randomly I got a SMS from a girl in uh, Amsterdam. Uh, she was at Schiphol and she located my bag between carousel 17 and 18 at Schiphol. So it's uh, out of the system it seems. So there's my bag and, and it is in Schiphol for sure. Uh, but in the arrival zone, so that's no good because it should have been in the transit zone. So I'm not sure what's happening, but uh, hopefully, um, hopefully it will uh, show up, or I will get some money. I have started to file out uh, a passenger passenger property claim uh, from SES um, with all my uh, claims, a lot of T-shirts and stuff, and the totals. Uh, 34,000 Norwegian Krona, which is around uh, 3,500 US dollars. So it was a lot of things in the bag. So I really hope that my bag is coming back to me. And uh, it would be nice if I could get some money after this as well. Okay, this is day 26 of my bag missing. I think I have some status updates today. Uh, I usually talk on a frequent fly flyer forum and uh, I asked about my rights uh, of my bag after missing for uh, 21 days and uh, one member was going to Amsterdam uh, the same day so he called me and asked if I should uh, if he should check if the bag was there uh, he found the bag and he delivered it to the checking counter um, at the airport and they processed it. So now uh, the, my bag is at Oslo airport finally. So now it's only they have to deliver it to me, uh, drive it to me, but uh, they have also updated the, uh, the World Tracer app. So I think I will get my bag now. It looks very promising. Uh, hopefully I will get it tomorrow or the day after. So. It will be less than 30 days, which is good, but I still have been out without my bag for almost 30 days. Okay, it's day 28 and uh, the day is here. My bag is finally arrived at uh, my home, got delivered uh, by a chauffeur here in Oslo. So, yay, here is my bag. Uh, still looks the same. Um, so, uh, it doesn't smell, so that's a good sign. So. I can say that the air tag actually works. I will highly recommend using an air tag uh, if you are traveling now, especially in Europe, because then you can actually see where your your bag is. And uh, I'm so lucky. So now I just need to wash all my clothes and uh, well, continue traveling.